All right, what is going on everybody? Tristan back here today for another video and what I want to discuss with you guys, uh, hopefully there's no background noise. If there is, I'm sure it will go away after the intro is done here. So within like the first minute or so, but what we got is StockX has been caught selling a mass number of fakes again. And this is a lot worse than, I would consider this worse than selling this amount of fakes to one person. A lot worse than the lawsuit they have with Nike right now. And I don't know what is going on with their authentication service. If employees are swapping out real pairs for fakes or what is going on, but there needs to be something done because there isn't something being done and it's very noticeable and StockX's support always sucks. And I will continue to say that. So we're gonna get into this video. If you guys wanna check out my Instagrams, any of that down below. I promise you guys, I actually will I will make a, a serious guarantee here by the end of July or at the end of July, I'm heading back out from Charleston back to, you know, Charlotte for a little bit. So when I do that, I will post my Instagram. So if you guys want to check me out here, feel free to subscribe and like if you want more content like this. We'll try and it's 275 likes. I know I haven't posted in forever here, but it will happen eventually and it's coming soon. So stay tuned for that, I guess. And uh, maybe I'll get it down here, maybe earlier. Who knows? I'll try and do that though. So that's everything. Let's get into it. Sorry for the longer intro, but as you guys can see, this user on Instagram recently bought 62 pairs, 62 of pairs of Jordan 1s consisting of University Jordan 1s, Mochas, and Hyper Rolls through StockX over the last month, which I have a question for this guy. I would love for him, uh, you know, you know, for him to DM me and kind of tell me what his story is or what's going on here. Uh, but I kind of want to ask, why did you buy 62 pairs of Jordan 1s from StockX at the point of where these sneakers are on the market right now. That's a lot of money, my man. You're, you're throwing a lot of money out there. I don't know what your plan is to, you know, buying all these ones right now. Maybe you run a store or something. Again, I'm not sure. I'm not going to judge or assume nothing. But what I am going to say is that, brother, you got some money to spend. And you, you, bought, you bought 62 pairs of ones. Also, I, I want to say this too. And again, this isn't me defending stock gigs. I feel bad for this guy because this could happen to anybody. This isn't a user fault. This isn't his fault. The one thing I want to say about this situation though, is these are three, if three of the most common, if not the three most common Jordan ones that are faked right now, at least these three Jordan ones are probably in terms of rep sneakers and fake sneakers that are being sold on the market, things like that. If there was Jordan ones and versions or colorways of Jordan ones that probably had the most fakes, I'd bet on these three right now. Actually, I've gotten a fake pair of mochas. I've gotten a fake pair of university ones. Uh, luckily, I was able to figure both those situations out and, you know, get them fixed. But I've had that issue where someone tried to sell me a fake pair of uni ones. And, you know, it's just they're everywhere. I don't even think you knew it. You know, I got my money back and we fixed the situation. But it's like at that point where it's like, are people even able to check these pairs? And I'm not. It, the thing is, it isn't even that hard to check these particular pairs. Ones are pretty easy pairs to check to, you know, see if they're fake. You just look at the back of the sneaker and you're like, all right, is it, an, is it an hourglass shape or is it just, you know, straight like a cylinder? If it's straight like a cylinder, you got a problem, you know? But it's, again, I just, it, guys, stock X, yo, hit me up, somebody. Like, uh, let me let me help y'all out. Like, I, I, I don't want to see the complete downfall, but like, this is just terrible. So this guy bought 62 pairs and out of the 62 pairs that he bought, he got $10,000 current market value. So think about if these sneakers were legit, $10,000 or 36 pairs that ended up being failed. Now, that's a huge percentage. Almost 60% of the pairs that he bought from StockX of these three pairs were fake. So clearly StockX doesn't know how to check Jordan once. And it, again, it's it's not hard. Y'all just posted a video on your Instagram like three weeks ago talking about how to legit check the Jordan one patent bread. Yeah, I get that you understand that you wanna show how you, that you know how to check the patent breads because that's who you have your lawsuit with. I understand that StockX, you're trying to show people, no, we know how to check patent breads, but we sold four pairs straight to Nike that were fake. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all should do a legit check for the Mocha's University ones and Hyper Rolls now for this guy because <laughs> you owe him a lot of money and uh, their support team is not responding. One thing, again, I will actually say this, this is defending StockX. So I will say this to defend StockX and it's the only thing I'll say probably to defend him is that the check check app the app that this guy used for authentication right check check not you know it's it's been proven that this app is wrong so just want to say that they verified pairs as fake sometimes that have been straight from easy supply of easy slides now i understand that easy slides are actually one of the harder pairs to check i mean not necessarily i mean it you can you can almost like you'll, you'll kind of get it in hand and you'll be like mm, this it just doesn't seem right and you'll almost know immediately like you can pretty much tell I mean, if you want, once you like, once you're a couple years into buying sneakers and you've gotten a good amount of legitimate pairs from retailers, when you get a fake pair, you'll kind of know. I mean, I feel like this may be relatable. Let me know if I'm wrong, guys, but I feel like this is slightly relatable. You'll kind, you'll just get a pair in hand and you'll be like, 
something's wrong, something's up. And then you'll usually, you know, figure out, fix the situation maybe from there. But I just want to say any of these legit check authentication apps, that only thing I'll say in StockX is defense for, you know, this. Although it is looking like, and probably is, you know, true that they would sell this many fake pairs to one person. I mean, shoot, they did it straight to Nike, a person they have a lawsuit with. Like, hello, let's let's think here. I guess not. <laughs> like, what is going on? But yeah, these legit check apps do not work time to time. So I just want to say, when it comes to verifying if a shoe is real or fake, don't use these apps. Actually, take the time, have the shoe in hand, you know, look at pictures on Google, or actually, you know, if you have a have a pair from the retailer, compare the pair you, you know, got from your other source to a pair you actually got from the retailer or one that you can guarantee is legit. Compare it to a pair that you know there's no chance of it being fake. That that's all most of the time what I have to say when it comes to checking pairs like this, ones that are very very, very commonly faked, ones that people that are selling fake sneakers are making a lot of money off of. Uh, so you just got you have to think about that again be careful you know when you're out there buying sneakers and anything like that again with these apps too you have to be really careful with these sneakers uh, with these sneaker apps it's not just let's be real it's not just StockX. although i do prefer uh, prefer goat a lot more i'm sure if someone was to file a suit against goat and be like yo y'all sold me a fake pair or a few fake pairs goat would probably you know end up selling someone some fake pairs down the line you know there is of course errors in human authentication but when you look at this post i mean this is just terrible replica 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 i mean look at this it's StockX. like i don't know what they're doing like they, they could even use this app you know just for a quick check you know something i mean i don't know what to say it's just like look at this this is ridiculous <laughs> this is and, and and there was one up there hold on I'll, I'll let this come back for a second but look not able to verify yeah I, I bet you a StockX employee saw like just all these hyper rolls and different sneakers coming through and was just like mm, yeah good enough you know like not my problem now it's gonna be your problem but again i doubt anything will be done to stock I again i feel for this guy if you all want to go show him some love feel free again leave it go check his instagram down below i may link the post so you guys can go see it but uh, again I, I would love to know the story as to why this guy bought 62 pairs of jordan ones from stock x that is one of the riskiest things i feel like that you can do Three of probably, again, if you are into sneakers right now, all that, three of probably the most faked pairs right now. I would just say that. In a list of pairs that are being faked, these are definitely going to be in the top 10. These three, somewhere. Guarantee it. And in terms of pairs that they're producing as fakes, again, I will guarantee this would be in the top 10 list. All three of these. Guarantee it. So this guy obviously made a risky move. He paid a bit of a price. It's not his fault at all. I feel for him. Hopefully, he will get his money back because some sometimes StockX gets technical with you know situations like this, and they're like, "Oh well, according to our authentication process, and uh, we we don't go off other apps, you know, authentications. We we go off our own in our own system." And it, it's a really dumb. They've gotten technical like that sometimes, and I, I don't know, but it's just like <laughs> this is bla in a blatant example. Sixty percent of the pairs that out of sixty pairs, sixty percent of the pairs this guy got were fake. So just take that into account if you're using StockX in the future. Uh, I only use it sometimes for smalling lower uh, for selling smaller uh, smaller value items. I've told you guys that. That's the only times I may ever use StockX. But when it comes to more hype pairs, buying pairs, any pairs you know I might need for the personal collection that I can't get off like you know like a normal buyer. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spend the time I can to not go to StockX. And even sometimes, you know, I trust Goat more in StockX. So I'll go there before. And this isn't a Goat promo video or anything. I'm just saying, dude, <laughs> StockX, get it together. What 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 is this? Yes, there is a huge problem here. Support needs to reply, and uh, hopefully this video will bring some light to the situation. Maybe help uh, get it out there a bit more, because. StockX needs to hold some accountability and they just aren't doing it. So yeah, again, show this guy some love. I'll try and link this post down below. I should be able to do that. And if you want to check my Instagrams, any of that down below, I will I will try and get a post soon, I promise. I know I've been talking about it last few videos, but I'll actually try and get something out there. It just, you know, I haven't really been thinking about posting here or there. Uh, or, you know, really, I just, I'm not super active on my Insta. I post my story, but yeah, that's not really everything I'm, I, I'm more active here. This is, the most, this is the place I'm most active on, the place where I post the most, the place where you know my channel is. So yeah, subscribe, like, leave a like old 275 likes. I don't feel like I need to say much more because uh, yeah, you know, I've said most of what needs to be said, you know, just StockX is consistently selling fakes to people, uh, people and nothing is being done about it. So something needs to be done because this is just, I don't even know what to say. This guy needs, hopefully will get his money back, but that's everything. I'm Tristan, go show him some love and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. I'm T. And see you then. Peace.